championed by Toyota Mirai. Well, it's time for this week's STEAM series. Our focus, science. KKL 9's Amber Lee introduces us to a microbiologist who discovered bacteria that eats metal. Inside a discarded dead backyard branch, under the bark of a fallen forest pine tree, inside a beaker left in a lab over the summer, there is life everywhere. Meet Professor Jared Ledbetter. I'm an environmental microbiologist at Caltech. Jared made an accidental discovery that landed his research on the cover of the journal Nature. We discovered bacteria that can use the metal manganese and make these curious structures. And the organisms use this as their sole source of calories for growth. Jared's discovery shows bacteria can gobble up metal and use the energy to build something new. That's exactly what we found. This discovery was purely accidental. A few years back, Jared left his lab for the summer in his sink, dirty glassware. Coated with a form of manganese, which is sort of a cream color. When he returned in the fall, that material coating the glass had turned sort of a black. I had this moment where I thought, you know, Maybe I shouldn't clean this glass. Instead, he analyzed it and found for the first time bacteria that feeds on manganese, then build these structures. They are much larger than the bacteria themselves, and it keeps on getting bigger and bigger and bigger. What Jared discovered under the microscope could help explain a deep sea phenomenon. Science has known since the 1870s that the bottom of the ocean can be covered with these manganese nodules the size of a grapefruit, those manganese nodules could be the products of the same type of process and the same types of microbes. Of all the STEAM disciplines, Jared relies most on science, but he thinks the S should also represent something else, serendipity. Serendipity in science is really having something fall into your lap and being awake enough to notice it. Jared has long studied microbes that help create food out of stuff we humans could never eat. Chief among them? Termites, which can feed on wood. Termites don't do this alone. They have about a thousand species of microbe that live in their gut that you find nowhere else in nature. And it's these microbes that chemically dismantle wood into calories that the insect can use. Microbes do chemistry. Jared's interest in nature started early. I discovered I had a passion for insects at about age four. And in the years since, that passion has only grown deeper. His advice to aspiring microbiologists, explore, explore, and explore some more. Quite possibly you can see an organism that no one has ever seen before. So it could be turning over a log and realizing, I don't think anyone's seen that before. Or some dirty glassware in the bottom of a sink and realizing instead of being dirty, that actually may be a discovery that can make it to the cover of nature. Now, in case you're wondering, one possible use of this discovery, place metal eating microbes in groundwater to help clean up pollution. For more on STEAM careers, just go to kcal9.com slash STEAM. Well, you know, a lot of us have been trying to teach our parents, I hate to say elderly because my mom's watching, well, we're trying to help them use technology during the pandemic. But imagine doing it when your mom's the Queen of England. 